Well, howdy folks, Elk Rex here. Just doing an update on the channel. I haven't done one in a while. I uh, just wanted to oh, let everybody know what's going on around here. i uh been laying down a little bit of paint and everything on some of these miniatures, getting them ready. Uh, we have three different projects going on, basically from three different systems. We got some bolt action stuff. We got some finishing up my last unit of for the Musty Wargamers painting challenge, and I have those Battletech miniatures sitting there that need to be worked on. Uh, we have a uh, medium machine gun crew for bolt action. Americans, these are airborne infantry i think that's the winter crew i have them set up on a basic little base that i made a little decorative one it's gonna add a little bit to it then i have an 81 millimeter mortar airborne unit as you can see there i made a mortar pit for them it looks like they dug a little hole and they're sitting there ready to rock and roll uh, they're can easily come out i haven't finished uh once i've painted them then i'll glue them into their little respective bases right there get them in same thing with the other ones here they're all the same thing made a little base out of sculpey putty and then i got the 57 millimeter cannon crew here that out of the way. we got this one here so basically all I've done was primed it and get some the first layer of put some green on it because it's mostly greenish colors that go on with the kit. That's the uh I used the US paint set from or flame that's the flame of the war one, so I use that. It works good for painting the infantry and everything, so so that's what's next is just lay down everything so right now i just got basically the prime done and then put some paint basic on the uh, the bases so i just primed these guys in basic green because i got some testers green paint laying around it's like ah let's make it easier same thing with these these battletech ones they had the basic green on them and i've got one layer of gone in and so the details, I'm going to put a, my typical camouflage paint scheme on that. It's the HQ vehicle, and I got a couple car knobs here. This one here was all chipped up from years, so it's got getting a repaint job on it. I just kind of put a uh, sealant around the, the base so it wouldn't get reprimed. I'm not going to mess with that base. This one here didn't have a base with it, so I had a, used a nail and a little bit of green stuff in a regular base. So that's going to be that Karnov heavy transport, the VTOL transport. So they will won't take me, but probably about two hours to finish, if that much. But for the musty war gamers painting challenge oops hit my thing uh been working on my dark elves uh, this is my bolt throwers all i've done is laid down the basic base colors on them and then i gotta pick it all out and put the details back into the the crews so this is what i've done today i've spent an, uh, about an hour and a half working on them and it's like shoot there type of thing so it's gonna look pretty good when they're all done fit right into the uh the army then you got your basic bolt thrower that's got you know, all the metallics and stuff and i'm gonna put some browns in here like to make that into wood color legs are gonna be wood and then the box up here I'm debating whether to paint it a dark blue or 
red. I'm not sure. Might go with blue because the theme color is blue. So I might go with just blue. Make a blue body. Legs will be blue. The box will be blue. And then brown arm for both of them. So they're all both identical. So there's, you know, look the same. Won't take me much, much time to get them done. So, and I figure two, three hours worth of work on the bolt throwers and a couple hours on the uh, Battletech stuff and then probably four, probably six hours at least on the uh, bolt, bolt action miniatures. Get those all squared away up to what I want, bring them into looking similar to the uh, ones already done for the Americans. So just adding a little bit more to them. I, these things I've had for a long time. They've just been sitting in, a, when I was digging through stuff, looking for stuff for my uh, fantasy army. I was like, whoa, I forgot all about these guys. They're just hidden away. Somehow when I was moving stuff around, they got stuffed in a box along with my, uh, and all these old um, suppression markers for bolt action. They all got stuck in the same time in the same box. So then I just pulled them out, get them done, do some work on them. So that's pretty much it for what's going on here in Command Bunker. If you haven't heard from me in a while, just work putting stuff together. Kind of busy. So hope you guys have a good one and we will talk with you later.